Today I need to put some of these uh, DC polarized watertight connectors on my solar panels. I've got my cable already um, and there's a few tricks to this. Uh, it, they're not that hard but you definitely want to do it right so you don't have to redo them. You don't want leaks, you don't want corrosion. Uh, high resistance connections uh, with low voltage like you know 12, 24, 48 volts can really uh, rob you of a lot of power so you want to get them right and again you don't want to mess with them for like 20 or 30 years. Okay so let's take a look at these let's do some close-ups and see some good techniques for putting these on the cables. Let's go over uh, the positive plug first. Uh, I know it's positive because there's actually a little plus right here on the on the connector. So, okay, we'll begin over here and we'll look at this. This is where the uh, electrical connection is made. This little piece right here will be slipped up inside of here once we have the cable connected. And following down, we have an O-ring and this O-ring is going to seal the, uh, this part of the connection from any water, air, dirt, so that this uh, maintains a low resistance connection over long periods of time. These two ears will secure it to the next plug. They would go in here and here, and they will lock it in place. Uh, moving down, we have, and I don't know, this is kind of hard to see, there's a little ear sticking out here, and that little ear is going to engage in these notches on the uh, screw cap, and what that does is it helps the screw cap uh, not unscrew itself over a period of time, so it will stay in place for uh, as it should. Then we go back and here are the threads that this screws onto. And then we have these little fingers. And what these fingers are gonna do is when we have the cable in place, these, uh, it will go through this seal and through this. And when we screw the cap down, these fingers will squeeze around this, this uh, sealing ring and form a watertight, airtight seal against this rubber casing on the wire and then yeah it'll keep out water so this thing has seals on both ends here and here and then of course there's the screw cap which we've talked about uh, just uh, a second ago okay so that's those are the pieces for the positive the male side of the plug this is the negative or the female side and again i know it's negative because there's a little minus sign here um, and let's just start at the beginning uh, we'll do a, a close up on the ends of these so you can see how they come together and connect. But uh, from this end, this is where the uh, opposite plug would connect in here. And the male pin, so the male pin goes with the female plug and the female plug goes with the male side of the connector. Um, you can see this bigger, this has a hole in the end of it and that will go into there. Moving down here, uh, there's not much to see, uh, just the minus sign. It, this also has one of these little tabs which engage with the notches in the edge of this to hold the uh, lock nut in place. And uh, the threads here, again the fingers which will crush down on the, on the seal ensuring that the wire is sealed and then this, uh, this uh, lockdown nut that uh, will secure the uh, seal in place. So this is actually a little simpler. What's happening when we join these two plugs together is you can see these ears right here will go down these slots and these little windows right here, you'll be able to see these ears when they come in here, they'll go click and they will engage and in fact, if you need to release these for any reason, need to separate the plugs, this is where you'll do it. You'll insert something in there, compress this ear like that, and it will come back out. Okay, so this male part's going in here. Uh, this O-ring right here is sealing right in here, so it's definitely important that this be clean and this area be clean before you connect them. Then when you snap them together, you'll be able to hear it and you'll be have a visual indicator uh, that it's sealed, it's clicked closed by seeing these little ears in these windows. From an electrical standpoint, when we push these two pieces together, all that's happening is this male pin, which is on the female side of the connector, and the female connector, which is on the male side of the pin, are being pushed together to make a secure 
and polarized connection. So all of this over here is just to create a weatherproof polarized connection for these two pieces of metal. This is the male connector and it goes in the female side of the pin, the negative side of the connector rather. And as you can see, it's got a, a narrower piece along here. It expands a bit. It's got these little bumps right here, which we'll talk about in just a second. It comes back here to these uh, tabs and these are tabs which will fold over onto the wire. Uh, and that's pretty much it, okay? So when we solder, what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay the wire down in here. We're gonna fold these ears over, these tabs over, and we're gonna make, wanna make sure that the wire does not go too far up inside here. We definitely wanna stay away from these little bumps. You see those little bumps going around there? Cause that's what holds it into the plastic connector. And one day I made the mistake of getting solder up here and I spent hours cleaning that solder off so that it would fit in there because it's a highly precise fit. And if you get solder messed up around there, it, yeah, it just won't go in there or you'll you end up messing up the plugs trying to force it. Okay, from here, another place you do not want solder is, is that seam right along here, especially on the female side of this. If you get solder in there, this will not be able to move. And yeah, the, the two pieces will not go together. Again, especially on the female side over here, we'll go over that in a second. Okay, so this is the male side. And again, it goes into the negative side of the plastic plug. This is the connector. This is the female connector that actually goes in the male side of the, of the plastic plug, the positive side. And they're very similar here. Again, we have the ears. Uh, for a mechanical connection, we have those bumps, which we want to avoid when soldering. And again, we have this seam. And on this side, avoiding solder on this seam is especially important because if you get solder on here, it cannot expand. And when you try to push the male pin in there, it will not, it will not open. Uh, and you will not get these connectors together. Trust me on that one. I have done it. So, okay, learn from my mistakes so you don't have to uh, suffer the pain. Okay, so that's it, and this will be uh, the positive wire, the red wire will come in here, and we'll do that uh, here in a second, and we will solder it, and uh, then we will insert it into the uh, plastic part of the plug, and we will be done. The next step is to prep the wire to, uh, to solder in here, and what we want to do is we want the wire just long enough that it is short of these little bumps, you do not want any solder near those bumps inside or outside. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, start with the wire right about this position and then we're going to cut it off right at the end of the plug. And then we will insert it in here, fold these over and solder it. When we solder it, we want to make sure that this plug is pointing upwards. It is sloped upwards so that any solder runs back this direction and not out into this part. I've got the wire trimmed back and as you can see, it will go right in there and I'm avoiding the bumps on the, on the uh, ferrule there. And yeah, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to insert this in here like this and then we will solder it. I will crimp that, solder it, and uh, we'll go from there. To solder this, I am going to place this tip of my soldering iron against here, keeping it away from this piece up here as we talked about the seam and these little bumps and then I'm going to apply my solder in here and that will be it. Notice that I've got this tipped upwards so that any solder, uh, excess solder will run down this way. I absolutely want to avoid solder going up into this plug at all costs. Okay, let me go do that. Also, I should mention that the same thing will apply to the other plug. I won't uh, make you go through that, but it's exactly the same process uh, for the male pin. Okay, I'll go solder this. We'll come back and take a look at it. Soldering is done. Job is passable. Uh, last check, you want to make sure that you have the uh, positive connector on the positive wire because once you snap these into place, they're really, really hard to get out. And then the male is on the uh, black wire. Um, 
note when you're soldering, if you get like a blob of solder down here, don't flip it off because if you flip it, you're guaranteed that solder is gonna move down into here and it's going to cause a mess, so don't do that. It's also a bad safety practice. But you'll notice here that, okay, I got a, a fair joint here, fair joint here, and I don't have any solder in here, in here, and I also don't have any solder uh, along the seam here. So those are good. Let's go uh, put these in the uh, plastic ferrules and uh, seal it up and be done. We're ready to put the connector inside of the plastic body here. I should warn you that with one brand I used, if you soldered this on here, you couldn't get this retainer nut in place. And yeah, you had to unsolder it. But this brand is okay. You can put the seal on and the nut on uh, afterwards. Okay, so make sure you have your seal in place here like this. Uh, the nut's in place. And we are going to snap it together. And... You heard that click, uh, that's good. Tighten it down, usually finger tight is adequate. And the seal is uh, good back here, check that. And now our positive side is good to go. Let's do the negative side. And with the negative female side, it's almost exactly the same thing. Make sure our seal is in place. Make sure the nut's ready to go, uh, insert. Press until you hear the click. There, snapped in place. Tighten it down until you have a good seal back here. And then check to make sure the, the uh, contact is in position there. And uh, then the negative side is ready to go. And that's all there is to it, to making good solder joints for our solar connectors that'll last a lifetime. Okay, well, I hope you found that useful and interesting in your solar projects.